Disco Simulator. Is it going to be a win or a bin? Let's have a quick read through of the description on Steam. Disco Simulator is a tycoon type game based on club management. Your task will be to set up the club from scratch, put up walls, arrange furniture, hire staff, plan events, invite artists, put on concerts, create your own club. So this is, as it says in the tin, a disco simulator or a nightclub simulator is, is possibly more accurate really. Uh, it's not quite how I imagined it, I just thought it would be very much uh, real time so put things down in, in, in the club and see the people come in but of course it's only at night time isn't it so it's never going to be a, a constant thing so what they actually do is allow you a build time at the start of the day so you can go and make changes, move things around, buy things, place things, decorate things and then you start disco and then everyone comes in, drinks, dances goes home you make some money you lose some money based on costs and that's it and then you keep repeating basically and you get some tasks you have to do so you have to reach certain levels to, to pass and then you can move on to the next the next uh, physical location which is maybe a slightly larger room or whatever but anyway that's how you go about it so it's not a real-time thing so the things I do like, well, there is there is backing music in the game and it took me a while to realise actually, but there are different genres. So there's about eight different genres of music with some default playlists. You can use your own music from your own library, that's fine. It doesn't affect anything you do, so people will still dance in the same way, which is actually a negative depending on whatever type of music you play and the dancing doesn't fit the timing of the music or whatever. But no, that there is, to keep it positive, there's a good different amount of default music genres the music's a bit cheesy because it's presumably unlicensed but it's all right you know it uh, allows you to pick something that you want and you can mix it up a little bit quite a lot of different types of building as you go through the game um i've only done a couple of levels but you can see what you can potentially unlock in the future so different shapes and sizes of buildings just to give you a little bit of variation so there's a bit, bit of a positive there will be a slightly mild one you can decorate your walls, decorate your floors, uh, that sort of thing. There's some good styles to choose from, admittedly, different colours, different shapes on the wall. Um, but yeah, lot, lots to choose from, so you can mix it up every single time and change things as you even go through one single game. And now for the bad. Uh, this game somehow has a positive overall review in Steam. Um, I'm going to put this out there. They're fake. They're bots. They're the Chinese government. I don't know. I ain't got a clue. But they're not real. This game is not positive. It's awful. I'm going to go through the bad things. And the obvious one is the animations are crappy and cheap and tacky. The people dancing look awful. There's no interaction. Say your bar staff. You want to see them actually deal with drinks or pretend to pour drinks. But no, there's no movement. There's cleaners. There's security staff. They just seemingly flap their arms about and make very shallow, unemotive responses to the situations they should be in. It's just a poor show, really. So as you go through the night, so the disco, when you start the disco, you can't interact with anything except your punters. You can click on them, see how much money they have to spend, their mood. But you can't do anything. You can't click on your bar, see how many drinks you've sold. You can't analyze anything. You can't interact with your own staff. You can't make changes to anything, which I kind of understand because I get the point is you do the building bit before you start the disco. Perhaps that bit locks out. But there's no interaction with hardly anything, as I say, aside from the punters um, during the disco. There is some stuff you do have to do, which I'll come to in a minute, which, to be fair, is a downside in its own right. But I think the lack of interaction that you can do and lack of uh, depth is, is very poor. So during the disco, as I say, you can't do very much, but there are a couple of things you can do, but those in themselves are hideous. There's mini games. So the, the couple of things that I've come across is if you see a little cocktail glass above the bar, you can click on it. It comes up with the name of a cocktail. You find it in this little cocktail book and it just tells you you have to find the icons of these four or five different ingredients. All you have to do is just find that matching icon click 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 finish and you get like a thousand dollars or something what the it's, it's a rubbish rubbish mini game the other one is a bit sort of more challenging i suppose in that you have the idea of the person trying to get into the club with their ticket you have to make sure that the names match their date of birth matches their id is not expired the date's correct that kind of thing but even that's shallow and boring and yeah, it, it's just a clutching of straws of trying to mix something into the game that just doesn't work. The game effectively just turns into click simulator. So what I just mentioned there, you've got these mini games. You have to click on them to do them. So lots of clicking. Fine. Obviously, that's how a mouse works, obviously. 
but what happens is things happen as the, the night goes through with your disco you will see cleaning mop icons and you will see sheriff's badge icons and occasionally a spanner icon for repairs that the sheriff's icon is maybe uh, people falling asleep maybe being drunk and um needing to be ejected from the building you don't see any ejection from the building or anything like that it's a bit rubbish but the game basically turns into click simulator so you can either click on an incident so for example you click on a mop icon indicating some dirt on the floor or a smashed glass or spilt drink you begin to eventually not care what the thing is on the floor or the situation is because you're just doing it as a matter of course so you can either hold down your mouse button and then in time you will resolve the issue yourself or you hire cleaning staff, security staff, and maintenance staff, and you click another button, and they will come and deal with the incident for you, again, with lack of animation or actually any real immersion in what they're doing. And it just turns into Click Simulator, because you have to play this game on quite a high speed, for otherwise it takes ages. And all you end up doing throughout the whole disco, rather than look at your structure and what you've actually built, all you're doing is just dealing with mop icons, sheriff's badge icons, and spanner icons. And all you're doing is clicking on it and assigning one of your staff to it. That's all you're doing. And it's awful. The game is basically Click Simulator. And a game called Click Simulator is not going to do it for me. It's not going to do it for hardly anybody. It's ridiculous. There's no fun in this whatsoever in terms of what is going on during what should really be the best part of the game. You're seeing people enjoy the environment you've built. And you can't because you're busy clicking stupid pissing mop icons occasionally you will have to book entertainment as part of your your tasks to be fulfilled so for example the ones that i did you have to bring in a dj and get him to fill one of the slots and yeah fine eventually you get the dj and you don't even have to necessarily do anything with it you just pick the event dump the dj stand down and he goes to it um no difference in music it's the same music that's in your playlist whether that's your own music or the default game music there's no interaction with the, the the DJ to the crowd or the crowd to the DJ, the, the crowd still dance, the DJ is just flapping his arms around, the DJ may as well not be there, the crowd may as well not be there, the DJ will still flap his arms around, the crowd will still dance, makes no difference, what's the point, have some kind of new thing happen, and the DJ also brings another mini game into, into the situation, connect pieces of puzzles using colours like a four year old could do, rubbish the game is just as dull as dishwater i could bring up a few more bad things but i think i'd be here for a, a lot longer and i simply can't be but the game is is dull it's no fun whatsoever it's flawed and it's just not immersive enough to be a simulator game remember that game i i reviewed a while back uh well a couple of videos back a primitive society simulator that's a simulator yes it was flawed but it immersed you into the environment. This does none of this. Absolutely miles off what it should be. It needs improvement. I don't care if it's an early access. I don't even know if it is. I can't bother to check. The positive review in Steam is a lie. Mm -hmm.